Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here from Revit Logic YouTube channel with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a penetration on walls or slab. And we are going to use a 3D generate model. And the reason that we will use it as a generic model because um, we are going to um, sometimes create a penetration on a slab on walls or um, any other type of uh, elements in Revit. So as you can see, um, I have a, a 3D view and also um, a 2D view of the, the wall. So this wall is that wall. And if I type VV in my 3D view, so I will access to visibility graphics and on the Revit links, I'm going to switch on first the architect and XCN model, which is existing um, uh, existing building, you know, let, let's say existing um, model. I'm clicking on apply and then you will see that the existing model and also architecture model will appear. So the door is coming from the architect and um, the perimeter walls coming from the existing model which is called XCN. So I need another thing which is uh, I want to look for the penetration. I'm actually going to turn on everything except my BMS because that one is a very very heavy model. I'm going to click on apply and you will see that I need the penetration there. So I'm clicking on OK. I'm just going to change this extent a little bit so you can see what's going on there. Um, so let's also extend this one a little bit in this direction. So as you can see, there's a duct there. So this duct belongs to BMS model and it is a rectangular duct. So we need the penetration in this wall and there should be somewhere here. I actually deleted that one. I just wanted to show you how to create in that one again. So um, let's do it. So let's go to the file menu. Let's go to new and let's go to the family. In the English folder, I'm going to look for metric generic, but I wanted base space. So I want just to create the, the penetration. So I will just select the wall and just tapping and it will just create a hole. Let's open it. So for this video, I'm going to start with a, a rectangular penetration. Then later we will have a, a, a circular penetration. So what I'm going to do, clicking on this reference plane, uh, typing CS for create similar and just creating one reference plane here, one here, one here and one there. Hitting escape, typing DI for dimension, tapping D here, 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 picking, picking there and just an overall size and similar thing here picking this picking this picking somewhere here and overall size there so um, I want to make this uh, dimension equal I'm clicking on this equal and also I want to make this dimension equal so let's assign sorry creating parameter for this one um, so because we are going to create the penetration and sometimes really it's very difficult to choose the correct soft penetration, I'm going to use it as an instance because I want just first to have the penetration, then I'm just going to check that what size I can just continue. So let's have this one as a width of penetration and having this one as another in instance and I will just uh, name it as H 
and well uh, so because in this penetration can be on the floor or sometimes it can be on the walls so on the walls maybe edge is uh, more rational because of height but on the, uh, on the floors so edge doesn't matter so you can even choose it as a length or l it doesn't matter just just something or dimension one dimension two or x y so now uh, what do i have to do uh good question so we have to go to the create and let's create an extrusion and we are going to choose it as a void and then i'm going to use the rectangular picking this intersection picking that intersection and locking all of them remember if you forgot to lock it you can just later come and just um, align to the these reference plane and just lock them so I'm going just to hit the finish edit mode and let's go to the back and as you can see just out of our um, element that we want to just create a cut so one thing um, we have to create a reference plane I'm typing RP and let's have a reference plane here hitting escape typing di for dimension i'm going just to pick um, the reference plane here i'm clicking on tab key to pick the reference plane and then clicking on this reference plane and picking somewhere here so this would be our depth so i'm clicking on this void i'm just um, grabbing this uh, shape handle and just align it with this line and I'm just going to lock it so I will call this parameter let's say um, well to be honest I just want to create a, a hole okay so I can just choose this one as a type I will just say it as a D like a depth and let's go to the family type I will choose the depth 400 because I think barely we have uh, any elements bigger than 400 so it really doesn't matter it just come out of this one who cares so another thing is um, I think we are good uh, I'm going just to to the 3d view so we have to actually cut this one so I'm going to click on the cut geometry here on the modify I'm picking this element then picking that one so it's actually cut so the other thing is we are going to reference level so this is our penetration which we will have it in this wall the thing is whenever we have a penetration we want to show it with a cross so we have to add the cross here so I'm going to create um, actually you know what I'm going to the annotate sorry so we are going to use a symbolic line so I'm going to use a symbolic line for now it's generic models uh, let's keep it as it is I'm clicking on this intersection then that intersection and then clicking this intersection and that intersection I'm clicking both of them by holding control key and on visible I'm going to choose this one um, signing new parameter I will choose it as an instance because sometimes I may want to show this cross sometimes I don't want so I will just um, choose it as a show X symbol and click on OK and click on OK so let's test it go to the family types and let's click on this one click on apply it will turn to gray that means it's working let's choose this one 200 by 200 click on apply and you can see that it's changing the size let's choose this one 300 and then apply on okay so um one thing i think we have to go to the manage and go into the object style and checking that that generic model is one projection that's okay so what was this one it was generic model projection well that's correct <coughs> so now um, we just have to just uh, save this family I'm going just to save it 
let's save it as a rectangular rec panel face based mr beam rectangular panel face based mr beam and it's going to have one maximum recovery file and i'm going to save it so now let's load it into the project and we just will have an error i'm going to close this one and let's load it here so um what i'm going to do i'm going to structure component so as you can see rectangular panel face space mr beam is there it's a new generic model you can change its category to window or to the door but for now we can just keep it as generic model so as you can see whenever i'm hovering here i can just pick the wall somewhere because it's a place place on face i will just hit it it will just create something but there is a problem with this family what's the problem so the thing is it actually was trying to create it on the uh, architecture so what we are going to do we have to use it again but we have to make sure that the wall that we are using is actually our structural wall So as you can see, it's still uh, causing some problems. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, turn off the architecture model because the architecture model also has a, a wall there. Um, I actually done it here. So I just turned off the architecture, okay. And I'm going to just again um, to pick the wall and create it. And you can see that boom, it's there. And let's uh, check it on the, our drawing and as you can see um, the line type for the cross is whatever we exactly want and there are shape handles you can just make this penetration bigger and uh, smaller so um, what we have to do we have to actually bring the that uh, mechanical here to see the, the dot here all right Guess what happened? I was looking for this duct for about 30 minutes. And I just realized that it's actually in the wrong work set. It shouldn't be on the point cloud. It should be on the building services. And look, it will just appear here. It's amazing. Anyway, so um as you can see the duck is there so i'm going just to move this one by dragging there i'm going to exactly make it as the same as the size of the duct and we have to also move this one to there okay cool so how much is it so this one should be 400 this should be 200 that's the size of the um the penetration but the thing is um we have to have um like a 50 millimeter around so 50 millimeter in this direction 50 millimeter, that means 100 bigger than this side that means this should be 500 this should be 300 and as you can see it's bigger okay so in this case, I'm actually, actually going to just make this one 450 and this one to 250 to make it looks better. Now it looks amazing. So now let's turn off the um, that mechanical here. As you can see, it's uh, nice and clean. So we have a penetration there. And even we have an option to turning on and off the symbol. So you can have it or you can just not have it. But the one thing, this is on the other. I'm going just to edit the family. I'm going to the family types. 
I'm going to edit this parameter. I, I will put it on the group R for the graphics. Um, let's hit on OK, OK. And let's load it to project. Yeah, I want to save it. Let's click on say yes. And let's override the existing version. And boom, now we have the show sim X symbol on the graphics. And that's our penetration. So I can just create a, a similar and I can just create it wherever I want. And it will appear on the wall. Amazing. So now we have a perfect penetration. This is the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching.